Hey guys, what's up? So it's been quite long since I put a tutorial on the very basics of Java. So I just thought I'll make one. So in this video today, I'm gonna talk about overloading and overriding. I mean, overloading versus overriding. So basically, as you can see, I've got two classes. The one is main, and the second one is doc. So, mm. so let me just first uh, tell you what's the difference. What is actually overriding? What is actually overloading? So, in my last few tutorials, I have explained the concept of overloading. So, I'll just quickly make one overloading thing. So, it's white, white display, and no parameters, and within that, sys out control space and hey and one more void uh, display again and int x and sys out control space and display hey plus x cool so now I'm gonna make an object for the class doc. So let me first write public static void main string args or string me, that's what I write, but it's okay. And doc obj is equal to new doc. Cool and obj dot display and obj dot display with a parameter for cool so now I'm gonna run it okay uh, yeah it's hey and it's hey for so we got output now in overriding overriding uh, basically happens with inherited classes that means the subclass can override a function that is in the main class I mean the super class so let me just quickly create a class and let me just oops it's oops yeah right new class and puppies so it's puppies like let me just extend what let me just here extends dog cool and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overwrite a function display and I'm just gonna do sys out and hey I'm in puppy so now if I make an object for a class puppy puppies obj2 is equal sorry is equal new puppies cool and now I call puppies dot display And oops, uh, this is spelling mistake, I guess. Oops, oops, no, 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 no. Um, uh, that's a very silly mistake. Obj two dot display and obj two dot display, and within that, it's fine. Cool. Now let me just run it. Okay, and yeah. Here it is. Hey, hey four, hey I'm in puppy and hey five. So basically the void display this method has overridden the display method in the super class. So basically this is overriding and this is overloading. And in this particular example I've explained overloading and overriding and both of them at the same time, using both of them at the same time. So let me just quickly uh, 
just tell you few quick tools and tones like if you just change the return type that is void or int or something and just do it return five whoa that doesn't matter it's because if you just simply change the return type of a method it's not gonna it's gonna give you errors it's not gonna do overloading or something so this is um, we cannot do this and yeah one more thing uh, this is actually uh, unstable but uh, I'll still show you uh, let's play oh god yeah if we just change x to y it's self explainable but still uh, this is out wow so just a can error because we just cannot change the name of the parameter and expect it to run so these were the basic tools and zones and one more thing is overloading it happens in the compile time and overriding it happens in the runtime that is um, when it's compiling it's gonna decide which method to use and uh, like in this when it compiles it knows that it's gonna use this one and it's gonna use this one but in overriding uh, it happens the runtime that is object to the display it first go to the goes to this um, puppies class and checks if there's a method named display or not then it goes to the super class so basically this was overriding versus overloading I just hope you got a clear idea and I just hope you understood and thanks for watching and for more subscribe